Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Taurus out there. So this is a love coming spread for all of my Taurus out there from the week of July 28th to August 3rd. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Okay. Oh, summer rising Venus Jupiter, summer rising Venus Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. What kind of love is going to be coming towards my Tauruses during the week of July 28th? To August 3rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Summer rising Venus Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me what kind of love is coming towards all of my choices out there the week of July 28th until August 3rd. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, we got an Eight of Wands, which means you have a lot of energy approaching you from this particular individual. A lot of energy, um, a lot of communication quite possibly as well. There's a lot of energy, a lot of communication um, coming at you rapidly from this person. Um, so, they definitely want to know that you, they definitely want you to know that they are around and they are pursuing you. This particular person turns out to be... An Ace of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign individual, a Capricorn, a Taurus, Taurus, or a Virgo. So this Earth sign individual is 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 really sending you a lot of energy, a lot of messages, a lot of communication um, in terms of their interest. If they haven't, they soon will be. Especially uh, during that week, uh, in particular, really going to be sending you a lot of um, a lot of messages, a lot of a lot of uh, they're really going to let you know, in other words, that, that they're really interested uh, in you and in pursuing you. Now, hot on the heels of that here, uh, we have a Knight of Wands. And this is a fire sign individual, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this individual is, is like coming at you full speed ahead, blazing a trail behind him um, looking to pursue you uh, in the in the in 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 the worst way um, I mean they're just, they're just coming at you just like even a trail of fire behind them and um, you know what's what's interesting about this individual here in my opinion is that we have the seven of cups here which means this individual may be blazing a trail to you but they also have a whole lot of seem like seemingly have a whole lot of choices as well. Um, there's a lot of choices this individual has. Um, I want to be hesitant to uh, from saying player because I think that you know, even though this individual has a lot of other choices that they could choose from, um, some some you know some some better than others. I have the sense that this individual. Uh, it's not basically just uh, looking upon you as another conquest. Um, it's a little bit deeper than that. E even though this individual does have um, a couple of coals in the fire, for sure, um, they they want to definitely be with you because you have the sun card here, because they see a long-term happiness by being with you. So they're definitely interested in you as more than just um, a booty call or something like that. They're definitely interested in being with you um, in the long term as well because they see a potential long term uh, a emotional connection there with you. So, uh, just to make you aware of that. Now, in addition here, you have finally, you have a what's your sign individual? Page of Cups, which is a Cancer, a Pisces or Scorpio energy. Now, um, again, this energy is, is from a water sign individual, and this individual is is, is kind of like they're able to juggle multiple tasks at the same time. Two of Pentacles here, so they kind of got this whole work life life balance thing kind of really working for them here. And um, again, they got a couple of fillers out there. They're they're they're, they're waiting to see what kind of other things ripen on the vine because they got you got the seven 
of pentacles here. So they're kind of just waiting to see what's what. Again, another individual with some choices. Um, another individual with some choices, kind of seeing where things go. Um, but like I said before, in the case of the fire sign individual, they're rapidly approaching you, but it also appears as though, even though, again, I want to stress this, they have other choices. It, it looks like they really think that they would really be happy with you. Okay? So I just want to pretty much stress that. So that's the kind of kind of strength you're going to be working with doing that time for. What kind of strength is my Taurus going to do? What kind, what kind of strength is my Taurus is going to be dealing with during the week of July 28th and August? What kind of strength are they going to be dealing with? So, right off the bat, we got the Nine of Swords. And that tells me that you are coming, you're just getting off of being in a very uh, emotionally draining um, situation that kind of was uh, leaving you spent. So that's a strength. The strength that you, you're just getting, you, you, you just come out of that. You just come out of that depression, that mental, emotional depression that you were dealing with. Um... So the good news is that's over now. So you're coming out of that and you're looking for something, some temperance, a little bit more balance in your life, a little bit more equal give and take. You know, you've kind of been through the rough the, the rough seas there and you're kind of looking to have more temperance, some more moderation in your life there. Now, what's interesting about this is that in addition, we got this sixth of cups. Now, again, there is... You know, uh, 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 another strength that you have, and again, these are strengths, is that there appears to be um, someone interested in you from your past that's seen as a strength. Um, let me get a little bit more clarification on that. Let me get a little bit more clarification on this, on the Six of Cups. Let me get some clarification on the on the six of cups. Let me get more clarification on the six of cups. Give me a little bit more clarification on the six of cups. Ooh, okay. So this six of cups individual that is seen as a strength was someone that was left out in the cold. So it's someone from your past that you left out in the cold. That was left out in the cold for some reason. It seemed as a strength. So, um, you know, this person could be, you know, a really, turn out to be a really good friend. Um, maybe somebody feel like they maybe have gotten maybe friend zoned. Um, and they, and they, you know, they're they're good at giving advice and, and so forth. It has become a strength of a source of strength. But this could just possibly be an, be an individual that um, being lo being left out in the cold. It could be figuratively being left out in the cold, like you know, you and this person were pursuing a relationship, and for whatever reason it worked out, and you just kind of was like forget this and moved on. And this person is coming back into your life again. And is is seen as a strength. Um, or it could be someone that you friend zoned, and that's kind of been there in that capacity uh, as 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 a friend, you know, a shoulder to cry on, and, and so forth, so on. Um, so that's something that you I want to make you aware of. Uh, this individual, uh, you know, uh, true love quite possibly could be right in front of your very eyes, and if you friend zoned this individual, um, <clears throat> as we often do. Uh, this could end up really being a good thing for you. In addition, uh, we have the Justice card here. Which means you're looking for an equal give and take, a balance in your life, balance in your relationship. Uh, also, we have the Star card here. The renewal of hope, of, 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 of renewal of passion, having a spark, a renewed spark in your, in your life. <clears throat> 
Fishing, we got the King of Cups energy here. King of Cups energy, generous, courteous. So that's a very generous, courteous energy here. When it comes to making wise choices, when it comes to being generous and courteous, we rephrase that. You're making wise choices. You're just not, uh, you're not a fool. You're not going to be taken advantage of, but you know, you're generous and you're courteous. You make wise choices when, you, when you've chosen to do that. Um, in addition here, we have the five of swords, and that is an energy that is, again, you know, you're not afraid, you know, if, if, if something is worth fighting for, you're standing, you'll fight for it. Um, if it's not, you'll walk away. That's seen as a strength. Again, that is further clarified with the seven of wands. Again, standing, fighting, walk away. Seven of, seven of wands says, hey, listen. If this thing is worth fighting for, I will stand and I will fight for it because I have the high ground here. I'm in the right here. So you're not afraid to fight for something um, if you believe it's worth fighting for because you believe you're in the right, you have the high ground. And finally, here we have the Emperor card. And the Emperor card represents a very have leadership, very strong leadership qualities, very strong, solid foundation. And you have a very strong, solid foundation that a lot of these principles that you have, these attributes that you possess, are built on something solid. So, there's that. So, let's see what kind of things from your past that could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. What kind of things from your past, what kind of things from my tourist past that could possibly affect the outcome of this relationship? What kind of things from the past could possibly affect the outcome of the relationship? Cards need to see some cards. I need to see some cards. I need to see. Alright. Ooh. Okay, so. Ooh. <clears throat> Something from the past. Boom. Baya. Tower. So. Um. In terms of something that could affect you from the past, um, if there's a if there's a situation where you're thinking end up blowing up, just a sudden change then it would you would absolutely be apprehensive about any one of these individuals that seem to where where it is literally a ticking time bomb like it's not really going to mesh well with what you're trying to do it's going to be un, un some kind of some kind of sudden shift um in, in maybe a person's mentality or or, or how they're coming off or something like that that's definitely something that could affect the outcome of this situation here um for sure so Again, a sudden, a, a sudden earth-changing event type situation for one of these people. If they turn out not to be who, what they appear to be, that could definitely affect the outcome of this particular situation. What also could affect it is the five of wands. We got a whole lot of fighting and tension and arguing and things of that nature. You dealt with that kind of stuff in your past quite possibly. You don't want to deal with that stuff again. Um, and so if that ends up being the case here where there's a lot of fighting and tension and arguing and so forth, not a whole lot of communication then that's going to absolutely just kill that. That's going to end it instantly. And finally here, we got the chariot here. And that tells me if you are not able to take control and have control of this particular situation, especially since you have the emperor card here, which means you pay very happy, you, you are very strong. Why? You're taking more of a leadership role, more an assertive role in your own situation. If you're not able to take the leadership role in this particular, these particular uh, choices here, and it's most definitely probably not going to work out because you want to be in charge of your own, of your of, of who you decide to be with. You don't want to be like manipulated or coerced or something like that. You want to be able to make your own decision untampered with. So, with that being said, let's see if the spirits have any additional information they want to bestow upon us before we shut this thing down. Spirits, are there any additional information that you want to... Put all my toys out there for you to shut this thing down. Here we go. Wow. Okay. That seemed to be a theme today. Which is. <clears throat> on the first, first, first things first. Surface. So. Surface. So. This could go one of two ways, guys. This could be, again, people have a tendency to wear the face that they want you to see. This is potential to be a wolf in sheep's clothing or a sheep in wolf's clothing. Clothing. So, again, about surface. Sometimes you really 
the, the face someone is putting on to you is not exactly who they are. And that could be seen both as a positive and negative, you know what I mean? So, you know, again, just be aware that the people are not always who they pretend to be. And so you may want to do a little bit of digging and waiting and just kind of seeing how things work out um, before you decide to make any long-term commitments either way. But also be aware. We got the heat card here. There is potential for a lot of passion. A lot of fiery, all-consuming passion and love here. And so also be aware of that, too. You know, um, like I said, this could end up being a person that's very shy, very reserved. And it turns out that this person is just bubbling and bursting with a lot of love and passion. So, Spirit wants you to be aware of that. But in closing this down, you also want to be aware of having balance. This has been a card that has popped up. So many, so many times today, um, balance. A lot of people, um, a lot of people just aren't balanced. You know, maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's the the heat wave we've been having uh, across, depending on what part of the uh, what part of the world you are, you are you're at. Um, you know, maybe the wacky weather is kind of, you know, throwing some people out of, out of balance. Um, you know, just. Bring it down. Keep it level. Keep it calm. Stay relaxed. You're going to be all right. Just focus in on what you need to focus in on, especially as far as relationship goes, because relationships are very complex in general. So um, just, just stay balanced, stay calm, put things in perspective, and um, you'll be fine. Okay, so with me saying that, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, Hopefully this resonates with you guys. Uh, again, this is a general, general overall uh, love coming spread. Um, if you want something more specific to your particular situation, um, please feel free to get personal reading. I'll leave all the information below. Um, and if it hasn't resonated with you, maybe we can, you know, I can do a reading for you to figure out exactly where you need to go, what's going on. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.